Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we're going to create this. In today's video, you'll learn how to create a cinematic glass gaming intro in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's create a new composition and name it Main Comp. You can see the rest of the settings on the screen. After that, I'm going to import my reference video footages, which are game trailers. Next, I'll select Scene 1 video footage and add it to the timeline. Then, I'll pre-compose this layer, name the Comp Scene 1 and click OK. Open this composition. It's a 5 second clip, so I trim work area to 5 seconds. Then, I'll add a new adjustment layer. Rename it to 1. Resize it like this. Go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for the Transform effect and apply it to the Adjustment layer. Then, go to the Settings. If I scale it up, you can see the changes. If I uncheck Uniform Scale, we can adjust the height and width independently. For now, I'll set the scale height to around 120 and now you can see we've got this nice fake glass effect. Now, I'll open the position properties of this layer, add a keyframe, and change its position like this. Then I'll duplicate this layer and adjust the position again. I repeat this process a couple of times until I have several adjustment layers. Once you've added several layers, the outcome should look like this. Now I'm going to select the text tool, add a text, and adjust it. Then go to the Effects and Presets panel, open Animation Presets, and under Text, Transition Movement, you'll find an effect. Simply apply it to the text layer. If I scrub through the timeline, you'll see the amazing text animation appear. We can adjust its speed using the keyframes. Next, I select one of the adjustment layers. Search for Fastbox Blur and apply it. Then uncheck the Repeat Edge Pixels box. Change the blur dimensions to vertical and increase the blur radius. This gives a more natural glass effect. Now copy this effect using Ctrl plus C and paste it onto the other adjustment layers. Let's go back to the main composition. In the project panel, duplicate the scene one composition, then add it to the timeline. Move forward in time and position it properly on the timeline. Open this new comp, delete the original video footage and replace it with scene two video footage. Trim this composition and rename the text to Racing. Now our Scene 2 is ready. I'll repeat the same process to create Scene 3. Go to the main comp, duplicate the Scene 1 composition again, add it to the timeline, move forward and position it. Open this comp, remove the background footage and add Scene 3 footage. Trim the composition and update the text as needed. Then return to the main composition and check the preview. Let's move forward. Click this icon to create a new composition. 
name it logo animation. Set the duration to 10 seconds and click OK. Now I'll import my transparent PNG logo and add it to the timeline. Then I'll pre-compose this layer, name it logo holder and click OK. Open the logo holder comp and resize the composition to 700 by 700 pixels. Then go back to the logo animation comp. Then go to the effects and presets panel, open animation presets and under text transition movement, you'll find an effect. Simply apply it to the text layer. Right now it looks basic. Go to the settings, set rows to 1 and set columns to 98 to create vertical lines. The change flip axis to Y and open camera position options. Then hold Alt and click the stopwatch to remove expressions. Now scrub the timeline to preview the animation. Select the last keyframe, apply Easy Ease. Then go to the graph editor and adjust the graph to make the animation smoother at the end. Next, pre-compose this layer and name it Logo Effects. Go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Venetian Blinds and apply it. Move the Timeline Indicator to the end of the animation. Add a keyframe for transition completion and width. Set width to around 60. Go back to the first frame and set transition completion to 100% and width to 30. Scrub the timeline and check the animation. Select the last keyframes and apply Easy Ease again. Now go to the project panel, add a background video and animate its opacity. Then search for Gaussian Blur, apply it, set a keyframe, move forward a bit and change the blurriness to around 15. This will blur the background nicely. Lastly, trim the composition and check the preview. It looks nice. Now go to scene 1, copy one of the adjustment layers and paste it into the logo animation composition. Remove its position keyframes for now. Center the layer. Add a new keyframe. Move forward in time and adjust its position. Then, duplicate this layer, adjust the position again and repeat the process a couple of times. Once done, you'll get a cool animation like before. Go back to the main composition, add the logo animation comp into the timeline and position it properly. And that's how you can create a cinematic glass gaming intro in After Effects.